Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be reviewing a mod called the Carry On mod. This mod is pretty popular and has been around since 1.12.2. So, I'm just going to be reviewing from 1.19.2 is because I am too lazy to boot up and launch 1.19.3, but I know 1.19.3 has the latest updates and I recommend downloading that version so you can actually see the whole change logs of everything and what features has been added. But this one, I'm just going to be reviewing from 1.19.2 and enjoyed the showcase whatever you see on the screen these are the default items that you are able to carry around in with this mod so all you just got to do is just walk up to a chest and just pick it up just by shift and right click yeah it's pretty simple and it does slow you down and one thing to tell you by me using 1.19.2 you won't be able to see anything in your hands because it's part of it so that means you got to download the latest one just to see you see yourself holding a chest or any of these blocks. You only can see yourself in first person carrying it around, but in third person, it is just invisible. So I recommend downloading the latest mod just for the best or better performance or better uh, experience. And if you want to place it down, just right click down and you're back. So whenever you pick anything up, it does slow you down. Like, if you just walk around with this, it slows you down completely. And once you place it back down, you see yourself gain a little bit of speed. So, keep in mind, whenever carrying blocks around, it does put a toll on your weight. And what you didn't notice is I actually placed items in this chest, and nothing leaves out of the chest. So, whenever you pick it up and move it somewhere, it stays in the same positions without glitching. Even if you put a modded item in there, it will just stay safe. So, you're pretty much cool... Or good with this mod since this mod is very compatible with any mod or mod pack that is out there not only you can pick up chests you can pick up chests trap chests barrels blast furnaces furnaces smokers dispensers shulkers droppers lecterns enchantment tables skulk shriekers why would anyone want to carry a skulk shrieker around but i mean i mean that's part of it so you can pick up ender chests beehives and you can pick up bees nests in which these are perfectly useful if you really just want to pick up the bees nest and take it with you instead of just finding a silk pick uh silk pick uh pickaxe and you can carry around a beacon too so these this is pretty much useful if you really want to carry stuff around but i especially like these since you can actually you know make good transitioning with the beehives more easier you're probably wondering can the carry on mod pick up these tables for villagers or pick up the smithy table no they do not work at all um i just know that you can actually reconfigure them just to you know just to be able to pick them up again but i don't know how to do it but i just know that these this mark can be configured just to pick up certain blocks so just keep in mind and there are some commands um i recommend just going to their website just to see what commands you can use or whatever just to make some configurations to your own blocks or properties just to make your game much more you know useful for your experiences also you can actually stack mobs so if i have some cows like say for example i spawn a few cows i just do the same thing like i do for the chest you can carry it around and place them on top of each other yep that's all you can do and you see three stacks of cows mm, three medium rare steaks tonight also i really want to test this out with the uh warden yeah because i'm very curious if you can pick them up if you can pick up cows so okay so let me just turn on easy mode and pick up this warden so i won't be able to pick up this warden in this uh mode because um uh, i'm not in um uh, creative mode but however you can pick up up in creative mode and what you see you see actually see the warden like this is the warden i'm literally holding the warden but you don't see him if the if you were in 1.19.3 you will be able to see him so this is crazy i'm literally picking up the warden and carrying him around and you can actually stack wardens too. So if you got this warden, this warden, you can stack them on top of each other. Um, no, he's supposed to stack right on top of each other. Okay, I don't think it works, but at least they're stacked. But that's quite creepy if you just see a stacked, uh, a stacked warden somewhere. So let me just spawn one more time, another one, and just do this. No, okay, so these guys just will pile up on each other. Okay. That's already pretty scary just to be summoning them in this game, just like this. Now I'm just going to show you guys the other features that this mod has. So this is the mod page for the mod, and this mod has been out since 1.12.2. Yes, this is pretty much a popular and an old mod at the same time. This is pretty useful, like very useful just to carry stuff around. Like you have some screenshots that just show you like how to carry items around. You can move mobs around, you can stack them with each other. And here are the other features. 
it works with single block title entities from any mod so this is definitely useful if you want to use like tech mods or just moving things around simply it works with all entities it can entities can be stacked on each other respects the lock functionality powerful configuration you can reconfigure everything just to make everything just best for your experience players can only carry one mob tile or mob at a time just to prevent them from other action from carrying and so on and so forth and advanced scripting for mod pack creators that means mod pack creators can actually use this mod for many things and i just know that this mod is highly used for many of you know certain smps and whatever and uh, players can also be carried too i mean that's if you just disable or enable the configuration just to troll with your friends some more and i just know that this is the options just to have your configurations you just got to click here just to understand the configuration files or any of the uh, commands or anything just to make changes and i just know that this uh, mod is still in the work in progress or still updating currently because i mean high demand for newer versions and these are the credits you have the lead developer ts ship the render and creative direction purple is cow and original concept sign for aka a villager so these are the credits right here of these creators okay i'm going to include those in the description later on and uh, you have the actual you know people here you got t ship and purplest crowd i don't know why what happened to the other guy but i think i think these guys must be like the original thinkers i suppose but over down here it just says the original idea so i think they must have took inspiration from it probably and they just put them in there if they did that then that's respect a lot of respect and for the change log just to download the files you can actually see this is like the latest one for fabric for example and the change log says added support for the first person render fixed rendering crashes augmented default blacklist fixed mixing conflict issue so i recommend downloading the latest of the latest but this is for 19 1.19.3 and i am currently using this version so it's best to download the latest of the latest so you won't have any issues the mod is going to be included in the description so you can give it a try and just carry some stuff around but this is going to conclude for the whole mod and see you guys next time on the next minecraft adventure and carry on out